Sunday might actually be my favorite day of the week. It's the perfect day to slow down, not feel so rushed, and just reset for the new week. I'm kind of guilty when it comes to letting a bunch of little tasks <laughs> build up throughout the week because I know Sunday I can sort them out like laundry. Laundry is probably the worst one, but it feels really good to take my time and tackle these kind of jobs on Sunday. I'm sure you all agree, but starting your week going into Monday with a messy home, a messy mind and not feeling relaxed does not make me feel great and definitely doesn't give me the most productive start to the week and we like to start our Monday strong over here, okay? So join me on this little Sunday reset day, hopefully this inspires you and of course a reset day does not have to fall on Sunday, like everyone's schedules are different but here are a few things I like to do that you might want to take inspiration from and just feel motivated to get through that reset day with me. First up, I love having a slow morning no alarms, no rushing out of bed to get to the gym for a certain time so that I can then get to my desk for a certain time. Instead, listening to my body and what it craves. Well done, you got to the end of the week. So relax, enjoy. I then spent some time on my balcony because yes, it's finally getting warmer. I live in London for those of you who don't know and yes, the UK. So we've had grim weather for the past few months and it feels so good to finally feel summer coming. I actually just wanted to clear my mind a little bit with all the little tasks I knew I wanted to get done today so I jotted them down on my Notion planner. I have a page dedicated just to resetting and I know this might seem like a little bit extreme but these little steps and this organization just helps me feel more relaxed and at ease. Something I love to do on a Sunday is actually get a workout in and I think it's because sometimes especially on working days my mind can feel really clouded in the morning with like all the things and the deadlines I have to do so I almost don't enjoy working out as much or it like feels more rushed whereas on a Sunday I can appreciate just moving my body just doing something that feels good for me in the morning um, and today was actually a bit of an intense leg day so we went hard in the gym this morning and it felt really good Guys, if you've never tried MP Activewear, I need to get you on it. Let's talk about it for a second. They're very kindly actually the sponsors of this video. MP Activewear offers stylish and amazing gym wear, but also are a great go-to for your rest day wear. They are all about providing affordable pieces to fit everybody and they have managed to get the perfect balance between aesthetics and performance. For this morning's workout, I actually put on this set from their Temple Ultra collection. I'm a girly who likes an all black gym outfit. This three piece combo, I am obsessed. And I also actually love the versatility of this. So we've got this sports bra, which might be my most supportive sports bra. Also something I absolutely love about these leggings are these pockets. I've always been a little bit skeptical when it comes to pockets and leggings because I've had ones before, they literally don't fit anything. This is one of the like plus size iPhones and they've just done so well with the size of this pocket. Why I'm excited about these because I reckon I could totally take these on a run which is something I feel like everyone is being a running <laughs> god right now. I feel like I'm missing out. Running is something I, maybe I want to pick up and get into. And then this is my new favourite zip up jacket if you do not own one of these and you're a girly who likes active wear you like working out this one's so flattering i love how it's like slightly cropped girl if you wear the set you just feel confident in the gym and i love that and then on which you're gonna see later on this video because this is what i switch into for the rest of the day they also have a rest day collection their pieces are actually unisex these super comfy joggers on which actually have a zip i really wanted like a really nice pullover something that still fit well and i have to say i love this and it also has a pocket which is really handy i absolutely adore these pieces and i will leave everything linked below for you guys if you want to check them out check out their collections the temple ultra and also the unisex rest day collection because I know you guys will love them. They also have given you guys a discount code, so if you use my code BeccaMP, it will save you some money. And anyway, let's get back to this morning. So once I'm home from the gym, girls, we all know Sunday is the perfect hair mask day, hair wash day. I've actually been told recently that leaving a mask in for more than 40 minutes 
doesn't really do your hair any good, doesn't have any extra benefits. So I thought I would just put it in whilst I prepare breakfast and I do a bit of cleaning. And then we'll be getting into that proper shower, the hair, shave, all of that good stuff. I've also actually been oiling my scalp and I really like to use this massager from Scalp Hero. My hair has been growing way quicker than normal in the past couple months and I don't know if it's from this but this is something I've like been doing recently and honestly it just feels really good doing this before I wash my hair. Then for breakfast we're making my favorite banana pancakes. These are literally just made from bananas, eggs and oats. That's it. I add chalk chips just to spice things up. Um, but yeah, it is a really simple, healthy recipe. I've been making this for years. So if you are an OG, you're probably really bored of hearing me talk about these. Whilst I'm letting the hair mask work its magic, I got some like basic boring cleaning done around the house. Don't worry, we're doing a deep clean later but I just got the dishwasher emptied and put on a load of laundry because this will not be the only load of the day. Then we're taking our time in the shower. I've ran out of my go-to shampoo and conditioner, so I was just using this one from OGX, I think that's the brand. And then I used this body scrub from Neom, I shaved, just felt really refreshed, revived. And then I got into my everyday skincare routine. You guys have seen this a million times, so I won't go into it. Now, I was excited for this. I don't do this every Sunday. Kind of wish I did, but that's what makes Sunday so special is I always try my best to make time to do something super chill, go outside. I'm not the best at like making social plans and stuff. A lot of Sundays I will just walk mochi, hang out with Will, which I love. And to be honest, like that makes me really happy, just the simple things. But today I was actually meeting a friend, which was exciting, and she had the amazing idea of doing a little picnic so i was excited about that um now that the weather is warmer i also saw this recipe on tiktok for these egg mayo like japanese sandwiches i know these literally just look like egg sandwiches nothing special but i promise you the way these are made just makes them like the best egg sandwiches you have ever had and basically all you do is separate the yolk from the whites you mix the yolk with mayo, with salt and pepper, and then chop up the whites, mix them all together. Um, and I also <laughs> did cut off the crusts because it reminds me of like what the sandwiches are like in Japan. Don't judge me. And oh my gosh, these are so good. I recommend you try this recipe. Where are we going, Watch. We're going for a little picnic. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we go. Build up the courage, my least favorite part. Let's go. But also, to be fair, the best feeling when this is all done. Um, and I try my best to make cleaning an enjoyable process because lo and behold, I don't enjoy anything about it. But anyway, my kitchen was such a mess that I was just itching to do something about it. As you guys know, I work from home, like pretty much full time. Will's in the office full time. So the mess in my home is mostly my mess. And this has become really important for me to kind of stay on top of. There is no doubt in my mind, like something that has been proven to me time and time again in the past few months, Firstly, since I'm home more, my home gets messier more. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a messier person than Will. Will is actually a lot better at cleaning than me, but it's something I'm working on. And also, a messy environment completely affects my productivity levels, no doubt, throughout the entire week. It's almost distracting, um, and there have been literal studies that show if you have a cleaner home, then you automatically feel almost more calm and collected 
and so you can focus more but also the other way you can relax more when you want to have like actual downtime in the evenings my advice is to do your like little 20 minute bursts throughout the week set a timer i can be really bad at this and actually letting everything build up during the week and then it gets to the weekend and frankly i'm just overwhelmed and it's the weekend so i don't want to spend too long doing it i never really want to spend more than like an hour of my weekend doing a clean so staying on top of it throughout the week makes a huge difference but anyway like i was saying we're trying to make this fun and even a bit of a challenge to ourselves so i love blasting music or putting a podcast on and i also like tell myself okay by the time this podcast is over i have to be finished my main focus is our kitchen bathroom it helps that my flat is not that big but yeah this is your little cleaning motivation for the week for those of you who i know some of you must be like me we hate cleaning Sunday evenings, probably the most relaxing point of the week when everything is done and I can fully relax. It's just the time when I feel like I can switch my mind off the most easily and actually reset, allow myself to recover for the new week. I know some people get the Sunday scaries, which is completely normal and I think having a good sort of reset Sunday helps with that. Just knowing you've prepared yourself the best you can. But yeah, usually we have a little hello fresh left over from the week and I don't know, I would prefer eating in on a Sunday, making a meal at home. We almost always do takeout or eat out Friday and Saturday night, so it feels good to save some money and just nice to have a night in. I like to give my skin some extra TLC on Sunday night, whether that's a face mask or today I just want for some like under the eye patches. But then before becoming an absolute couch potato for the evening, which is well deserved. Sometimes I kind of feel like I want to do this on the couch whilst watching a movie, but I definitely prefer just doing it in my office, fully concentrating for 10 minutes, that's all it takes, and then it's done. And that is preparing my week. All those little dates, appointments, deadlines, I'm someone who's really annoying and I will write them all down everywhere throughout the week as plans are made, which isn't helpful. And so that's why it's important at the end of the week I put them all together. And so I like using Notion to really have everything in the one place from Monday through to Friday. Also, little tip, doing this on Sunday night really does help me get the best start on Monday morning because I know exactly what I'm meant to be doing that day and I'm not spending or procrastinating my morning like trying to put together a plan for the week and then I also like to do a little brain dump just to get any ideas out this helps with content creation And then it's time to relax. Go get an early night, you deserve it. And that should be you ready to go ahead and smash the next week. So thank you so much for joining me on my Sunday reset routine. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what videos you wanna see next from me. I would love your input. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.